Cool. So yeah, so there's um, a good amount of prep stuff uh, that isn't immediately apparent. So um, for example, this foam um, is one uh, one thirty sixth Merle cell, uh, like which is basically like a type of soap stuff, and then it's mixed with water and aerated. So that's what all this contraption is: is to aerate it, and then the foam will come out of this later. Um, and yeah, so let's see. So the first thing we do is we put in a half uh, bag of Portland cement. I've got it already bucketed right there behind you, um, and we dump that in. Um, and then roughly four gallons of sand, which is one heaping uh, lard container worth of sand. Um, and um, so you dump those in, um, have, the, have the machine going so that it mixes them, and then we mix in the rest of the powders. Um, so here we have fly ash and silica fume. And um, these are in these handy uh, packs that uh, Doug has made. Each of these bags has, um, has a bag of, of silica fume and fly ash and some of these fibers that we'll talk about in a moment. Um, and actually, these th we're doing sort of half loads compared to what uh, we would normally do. So each bag has enough for two, two um, loads. So uh, yeah, and these are our sample ones so we can just use to like measure against, which is nice. Um, so we put in the powders, uh, and then we add water. Um, well, with this project, um, it's been, he's, he's wanted it to be pretty wet. Uh, so I've put three and a half to four uh, quarts of water in from the get-go, and then maybe more depending on the consistency as it goes. Um, and after the water, we add this Plastol 5000, which is a water reducer. Um, so it reduces the amount of water you need, and it actually makes a really cool texture with the with the um, cement as it's mixing. Um, it makes it like almost like a plasma, uh, like a lava uh, type um, texture, uh, and it's pretty cool because it looks really liquidy. But the moment that it, that you stop the machine, everything is uh, solid. It's like really hard. Yeah. Um, cool. So. I'll mix, I'll put in that, and then there's a, a good amount of time for it to all react together. It's like a couple minutes at the very least, and during that time I usually try and prep stuff for the next round, like put in more um, powders or open up another bag of cement, um, get my second um, bucket of sand ready because we actually do another four um, gallons of sand afterwards. Uh, so, but once it's, once it's at the right texture, which I'll show you, uh, that's when I add these uh, fibers. Um, there are two different types of fibers, and I don't know that much about the difference, but um, these, the, the silver ones are kind of more brittle, and the, the white ones almost feel like, like they're very soft. Um, I don't know what exactly they feel like, but um, yeah. So you put in those fibers, which help hold things together, um, and then uh, put in the sand, uh, and then we do 10 seconds of the foam. So we turn on this foamer, uh, and it aerates the, the mixture of, of soap and water, and out comes nice foam that helps with the consistency. And then after that, we dump it in uh, the wheelbarrow that's still over there, and, uh, and bring it over and start all over again. So once you get going, it's pretty, pretty easy, uh, pretty quick, but it takes a little while to get it, get the rhythm um. So at a certain phase, it starts to ball up. They're, they're formed these little, uh, like almost golf ball size things. And this is actually a little bit past that phase, which is good. Uh, you can see it looks really wet. Uh, it looks like goofy, but it's actually hard. Uh, like it cracks.
add a little bit more water. 